Welcome back to Sexified Fallout 4. I'm Rook, this lovely girl is Nasty, and we're outside Good Neighbor, if you didn't notice the sign behind us there, that's that's where we're at. Um, where we just met a guy who's like a Silver Shroud fanboy, and he really, really wants us to like revive the Silver Shroud, or bring it to life, or whatever, uh, which means we need to put everything else on hold to go chase down a costume for the silver shroud and that is what we're going to do it should be over here real close at uh hubris comics so everything else in the world of any critical importance can just wait and oh we're going to kill these super mutants though and uh yeah we'll just put it all on hold so we can go chase down this um this cosplay outfit and let's uh let's come come on you know what i can't do this <laughs> whoa 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 what's happening here that was was that a ah you need to stop with that so i i just learned another point of luck um because i want to get a perk that requires higher luck, but uh, it dawned on me. I also really really want to get okay We don't need that raider. They're empty All right, um, I really want to be able to make the advanced railroad ballistic something or other uh, Upgrade on my armors. That's that's like the best possible thing and I don't know what I'm missing It's like it doesn't show me what what other thing I need to learn in order to get that. So I'm a little curious about that and kind of anxious to get it. But if I can't, I do want to get um, another perk that's based on luck. And I, yeah, I can't remember what that one is either. But it's okay. Everything's fine. I've got another um, level banked that I can take anytime I want. I just haven't decided yet what to do with it. So if anybody, you know, if you have... Uh, like recommendations of how to go about it or you know offhand how to be able to make that that super advanced uh, railroad ballistic stuff that that would be cool but we're gonna just run over here to hubris comics which yeah we're getting really close to it probably probably we're gonna have to fight through some stuff to get there but that's okay oh we lost the silver shroud radio but that's cool we listened to a bunch of that stuff Last time around, I really liked those radio plays. That old-timey radio play thing is kind of fun. So, all right, here's Huber's Comics. Fantastic. And there's a dead scavenger right out front. We're going to take all of his stuff and leave him in his underwear. And, man, he's all dirty and stuff. But, you know, he's been laying out there dead for a little while, I guess. So it would only stand to reason that, you know, a little dust settles. Um, if he wasn't already dirty when he died. But anyway, I'm rambling, uh, so while we're loading in here, I'll say thanks for joining, guys. I hope you're enjoying this. Let's shoot that symbol, monkey, because I don't like those things. And, what, oh, there, he, uh, it is a duel, too, and I don't like those so much either. But Kate is on it, man. That was it. Okay, are we going to let me out of this? Thank you very much. I got some kind of, oh, unstoppables. There we go. Look at this. Uh, in, in a permanently gained 1% chance of avoiding damage from an attack. Wow, nice. Oh, reading that's worth our time. It is worth our time. Just chill out. Oh, there's another monkey. Oh, good yeah, God, there's here. another cool. All right, you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Thank you, Kate. Wow, she is so on the ball. I like it. Let's go ahead. Whoa, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No. Yeah, good job, dog me. That's my dog. That's my dog right there. Oh, and you? None of that. Alright, well, this seems to be a ghoul refuge. So, oh, I learned that perk that had to do with the magazines, and I can't remember now. It's something that I can, I can copy, I can copy stuff. I don't know. I look, I want to look into it. I haven't been to a settlement. Time to 
what, what's happening here. Oh, we got another one coming through the floor here. Let's just take out the legs. And that did that. So, yeah, burnt... Burnt stuff can be apparently... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll, I'll look at it when we get back. And again, if you guys have any info you want to just toss in the comment section to let me know what the hell I'm doing, um, that would be totally fine with me. I like it. But for now, I'm going to grab all these burnt things because I'm pretty sure now I've got a, a perk that will allow me to make stuff, usable stuff out of them. I don't know. It may be totally off base on what that perk did, but I suppose I could just look it up. But that's kind of not my way. Oh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bad, bad. Yeah, yeah. Hit me with that arm, I shoot the arm off, and then we just kill you all the rest of the way. We got going here. Globes. We need those. Because of course we do. Yeah. They, I, uh, I've got so many burnt magazines and stuff. I mean, I do loot freaking everything because I can carry virtually everything. I came in here with, I don't know, six, seven hundred pounds of available carry weight, so it shouldn't be a problem for us else we got going here more dead scavengers let's turn on a light I love these pictures so nice what else oh a jangles yeah let's take it of course we need moon monkeys who wouldn't uh, what else is here just beer bottles all right anything else no other goodies okay Moving along. You right there, Kate? What's up? She's just standing guard in the doorway. That's fine. So, yeah, we need to go up. We'll need to go up, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab all these. You know, if we're in a comic book store, we're gonna get the comic books, right? Even the burnt ones. Okay, let's see what this terminal has to say. Salvage, no likenesses, really. Wow, okay. Then it can't be that. Uh, lawless, L-A-W-L-E-S-S, -S, maybe. No likenesses, wow, okay. Let's see. R-U-M-D-E-C-O-R-U. -E UM that maybe that wow okay members M E M B R S Nope can't be that can't be that Hmm Nope can't be that either Maybe that. Ah. Uh, well, that that was that then. And uh, yeah, it's I'm locked out. Well, bummer, bummer for me. I just locked myself out. Maybe we'll have to bring a companion that can do that kind of thing. Let's see about this. That's. Grognak's Axe? Bingo. Hell yeah. Hits cause more stagger and targets take bleed damage. Neat. We've got we've got Grognak's Axe now. That's cool. I like it. I'll never use it. I'd like to have a display case. I could just display some of these specialty items. Alright, what's over here? Um, unlock the storeroom key. I've got the storeroom key? I didn't know I had a storeroom key, but... 
clearly we did. And oh, we'll unlock with this. Mm, just general stuff, nothing special. What else we got over here? Oh, look, duct tape. Nice. I like it. What else? Surely there's something special in the storeroom, right? You'd think. Just <laughs> just a guy skeleton here. What was his deal? Who knows? But he locked himself in the storeroom and and died. Okay, that's the way up, and this is wow. Okay, excuse me, dog meat. Let's move along here. Whoa, 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 whoa. These things freak me out. They're just too fast for dead things, you know. Dead things should not move quite that fast. Oh, and here's another one. More? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I was looking at, oh, 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 I know. One of the perks I would like to get is one that, like, invats every, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Every subsequent shot invats to the same body part increases your chance to hit. That, I like that a lot. But I think that one requires a lot more perception than I've currently got. But maybe it's the luck one. I can't remember what I was working towards. But it doesn't matter. We're just going to grab stuff. What do we got here? More scavengers. And caps. What? What? Oh. He perked up when I took a stash. But not real perky. He's still dead. Wow, I can't believe I've never come in here. I like this comic book shop. Whoa. Whoa. There's a lot more to this place than I thought there would be. You know, I wouldn't think a comic book shop would be as big as all this. Oh, 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 and I've go, we've got to go back. Um, who was it? Was it... I can't remember. One of you guys um, had mentioned to me... Oh, look. Huber's Comics office key. Wow, I could have overlooked that so easily yeah uh, was it you Craig that mentioned something about the um, the pigment thing I think it was yeah I think it was you um, that I missed something that was like a secret door entrance thingy or whatever um, but I look back on my oh hey whoa 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 whoa, whoa. that's not no 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 don't do that he was tough. Uh, yeah, like there's some secret thing, and I looked at one of the pictures, had a prompt on it. I completely spaced it. I didn't even notice it when I was there, but I did see it when I looked back on the video. So, oh, and I got another key here. So, I like this stuff. This is all very intriguing. Oh, we didn't even need to use the key because there was a way around. That's so silly, but whatever. So, yeah, we need to go back to Pikmin's gallery and check out what the heck um, that picture would do. All right, so we'll just unlock this to have another way to go through. And then we're, okay, what is this? What? I saw something. Oh, it's just a cigar and an ashtray. Whatever. We're going to take it and we're going to look at this terminal. And, yeah, the Pikmin thing, I, that I'm intrigued now. Like, I was from the start, but um, well, we can go back to that after this, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, from Tina Hopkins to Vivian O'Dell, now an English butler. I came into work today and found another stealth revision of the shooting script. Now the Shroud has an English butler? I keep telling Babowski that we need our core fans to be our evangelists, so we can't keep making these stupid little changes. You have to talk to him before you go on vacation, otherwise I swear I'm bringing it up to Pete. Okay. This is good lore. I like this lore. Um, all right, uh, Tina Hopkins to Vivian again. 
please help. I want to pull my hair out. Bowski has cast an un has cast and signed a contract with Claire Riddell for the role of the Mistress of Mystery. I don't care how much the Tome of Amon Ra grossed. The Mistress of Mystery is a brunette, not a blonde, brown, and definitely not a redhead. And have you heard Claire's voice? The Mistress of Mystery is confident, a match for the Shroud at his best day, not some half-starved waif that's known from her shrill screaming. Uh, Shannon Rivers has worked for us for decades. She is the voice of the Mistress of Mystery. End of story. She, she's even a natural brunette. She's not a young. Oh, damn it! I let's okay. Let's go back. Something this and that and uh, eh, natural brunette. She's not as young as Claire, but surely we can do something with lighting to help with that. If we don't fix this, I swear I'm walking. I won't have my name in the credits for this train wreck. Okay. Wow, they're serious about their jobs. And then 101677, the next day, from Aaron Babowski to Vivian Odell, mis regarding mist whatever, Mistress of Mystery Casting. Vivi, relax. If it's that important to you, maybe we can put Claire in a wig. But the contract is signed, so this is happening. Uh, what is it with you... What is it with you guys and Mrs. Rivers, anyway? Maybe 20 years ago, but now she's got a face made for radio. Am I right? Claire's got star power, and that's what we need. I talked with Petey Boy, and he's agreed to a couple new scenes. We need... Oh, I got a hair in my mouth. Hang on. <laughs> what the hell? And... Oh, okay. And... Oh, my God. Um... Uh, Sorry, <laughs> I'm having a little crisis here. Um, okay, got a hair out of my mouth. That's better. Uh, and Claire's got the goods. If Tina can't roll with this, then I can fly in one of my boys from Hollywood. He's a class act. I got a full schedule today. Dress rehearsals until 8. This can't wait until you're back from the Bahamas. So if we have to meet, 8's my only window. Hmm. Okay. Little... Yeah, damn it, I didn't get that hair. <laughs> My God. What is going on? Okay. What? Mm. What? Ah, got it. It was like stuck, like, partly under my tongue. I couldn't... Okay, you guys don't need to know all the details of my my tongue troubles, but that that was weird. So, all right, we got some good lore, a little bit of dispute on casting and so forth, and obviously they took they took a lot of pride in in their work and you know keeping consistent with the lore and all that, and um, you know helping out to maintain integrity with their fan base, which you know you gotta appreciate that stuff. Like I'm a big Oh God! Legendary Feral Gold Reaver, you 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 need some crits to your head, don't you? Yes, you do. Like this one. That okay? Well, a crit. <laughs> that a crit did it. Mutant Slayer's combat rifle. All right. Well, fifty more. Fifty. I like it. That's good. Maybe we'll fix that up and give it to uh, to Kate. But yeah, no. I was just saying. I I'm kind of a, a critic a critic of movies and stuff that. You know, they gloss over important details and, like, you know, people go, the, okay, like some action movie or something, and you see how they, they spend all this time breaking into some place and, you know, it's all heavily guarded and everything, and then, you know, they get their objective, and then the next scene, they're, like, outside. Well, how the hell did they get out so easily? If it was so heavily fortified, defended and stuff, or like breaking into a prison and then and then there's no how they broke out kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about? We're just huge plot holes left. I mean, I understand, you know, movies can only be so long and all that, but um, there are details that should not be simply overlooked. That's what I'm saying. But what are we doing here? We're getting, we're just looking for stuff. 
and more girls. Oh, I see Silver Shroud memorabilia out there. Uh, that's a good sign. But man, this place has got a lot of freaking offices. This can't just be a comic store, right? It's, you know, if they're talking about all the other stuff, you know, with casting and all that, this is, these offices, are, you, you, leave my freaking dog alone. <laughs> Man, I love these freaking head explosions. I, that's kind of gross, but God, there's just so much a military grade duct tape. Excellent. Technical document. Okay. There's too much here. There's just too much to this place. I really didn't anticipate this, guys. <laughs> I didn't have any idea how much there would be in this one little comic book store. But, ah, Writer's Terminal. What? What's going on with these guys now? Tina. Oh, same, same info. All right, that's fine. Good. We don't have to go through all that again. What's with all the dramatic music? Really? What's going on here? Let's get out of here. Let's let's go. There's all right, there's more stuff over there, and this. What the hell? Good lord, this place. What? Whoa! Dog meat. He <laughs> quit opening doors. How does he do that? That's freaking amazing. But we're going to take all these burnt comics and stuff because we've already talked about that. And what, Oh, that's an elevator shaft that should not be traversed. Let's don't go down there. Right, what is over here? Is this the way we came up? I think it is. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So back through here and we go over there. I need to go up there. Fine. All right. This place is, I think, pretty well cleared out. Let's get that. And, wait a minute, I don't see another way up, but it's above us, but uh, this seems to be the way to go. What, what now? I'm all nervous, I know that there's a, something is going to freaking jump scare me again. These ghouls, they do that. That's their specialty. Alright. Wait. No, wait. How did we... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Kate. <laughs> oh my god. Um, how do we get up there, then? Alright, there's something I'm missing. This is spot. Ah! The stairway, maybe. No. Wait. What's happening here? I'm gonna be jumping at the goddamn shadows next. <laughs> you and me both, Kate. This place has got me freaked out a little bit. What? What is the way up, though? It's like I'm just going around in circles right now. Right, is there another... Is there like an elevator that we could take all the way up or something? Can this elevator be used? Uh, no. No way. That's it. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back down on the bottom floor. Oh, more comics and things, though. And what, what is this? Nothing. And then the storeroom. That goes nowhere. What the hell? I mean, you'd think that the stairway would continue going up if there's more up to go, but I'm not really seeing... 
Unless there's like a broken down... What, are we supposed to be on the roof? Because we're... Yeah, it's still... It's still above us. Up there somewhere, but... I don't see another... It's like there's no other floor up there, is there? But, ah! Aha! Okay. Just keep looking around. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Now it's three above us. What the hell? How do I get up higher than this, though? Jump up on the desk. No. We can't mash our head through the ceiling. We had to try, though. Or, or maybe we didn't have to, but I did, and it didn't work. Ah! Ah! Whoa, look at this legendary rad roach. That thing is freaking huge. Oh, get off of me. What the hell? Here, just do this. Just crit. I'd do that. Gonna start glowing. Sentinel's lever, leather. Okay, we don't care about that. What is happening in here? Wow, lots of stuff in there. That's good. I like it. Silver Shroud script. Let's play that. What's happening? Oh, crap. Um. Huh. I didn't even know what happened with that. My freaking pit boy just went, like, totally blank on me. All right, let's grab this stuff in here. All this stuff out of there. I still don't see another way up. That's the thing. I mean, I still gotta go higher up. So as cool as it is to have found this in here, um, it didn't didn't lead me up anywhere. But I think we have done good work, and uh, I don't want this to go on forever. So I will just say thank you so much for joining. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm going to figure this place out. We'll read that producer's terminal behind me next time. But for now, uh, if you have any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats, just put them in the comment section. Click that like button and subscribe if you haven't. We'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.